Welcome back to Airborne Productions. This is my dad's pretty cool little bench made knife. Well, actually it's not little, it's freaking huge. But the tip is a little busted off on it. Uh, these are not pry tools. They are knives, <laughs> but that's okay. We're here to learn, right? So we thought it would be really cool to take this blade and copy the contours of the mechanism and how it opens and closes, but make it out of Damascus. That's what we're after. Apart. <laughs> it's stuck. In episode two, <laughs> we take the knife apart. <laughs> uh, we'll be right back. Well, apparently these things are so hard to take apart that we had to come back another day and do it. So now we have the world's smallest torque wrench, and uh, we can take this handle apart. Well, we got what we wanted. Here's our uh, broken blade. So we're gonna make this out of Damascus. But uh, while we're sitting in front of this pile of mess, if you know anybody, know any videos or anything, how to put this back together, uh, please send it immediately before this video ends. Step one, we're gonna make some Damascus. We're starting with our normal stack of 1084 and 15N20. We'll put that together with eight layers, draw it out, stack it again, and see how many layers we come up with. Then we're gonna make a pattern from there. Okay, a lot of forge rotting later, and we have 160 layers stacked horizontally. Here's a little bit of specs. We're just over four long, inch and eighth wide, and almost three eighths thick. So now we're gonna attack our pattern. So the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna go for raindrop. We're gonna drill a bunch of holes on either side, not all the way through, but just divots. And then we're gonna forge that back flat. And what that's gonna do is make these, that's why they call it raindrop Damascus, it makes these Raindrop circular patterns wherever you drill down into them. So yeah, let's get to it. We have our divots drilled out. We have two different sizes. So the next step is to forge it out, get this thing flat as we can, get that power in the show. Okay, back the next day, time to do some forging.
for reference, here's our starting blade shape. What we're really concerned about is that thickness. And uh, we've definitely forged a bit thicker. So we want to be thin enough to where we really squished our pattern in. And when we grind it, we won't grind off too much of that pattern. But we want to be thick enough to give ourselves material to grind. So moment of truth is coming up. We're going to put this on the uh, angle grinder, get it ground down a bit, and then get it flat on our belt sander. And uh, yeah, go from there. There's after some angle grinding. Now for the belt sander. So here's our reference. This thickness on this bench made, we're about 151 thousandths of an inch. And then if we measure this guy, we're getting anywhere from about 155 thou to 190 thou at the thick part. So we didn't plan on getting quite that close. Um, just off of a rough grind. I mean, this is 120 grit. So we still have a fair amount of grinding to do to get it to that finished dimension. So we're gonna start on the thicker part of this guy, which is actually this end, is about 185 to 190 thou. Get that down uh, once we drill the hole and everything so that when it's finished, hopefully it's right on the mark with this 151,000. So that's more work to do. Okay, our basic strategy We've got this lined up about where we want it to go. We start by drilling a hole through here. That's that regular pin hole where it pivots. So we're gonna stick our pin through once we drill it and keep this into place. Uh, there'll be blue die chem on the steel. Then we're going to scrape and trace around the shape of the blade, of course, accounting for the tip. And that'll be our blade shape. From there, we'll grind off or cut off the excess material and uh, start working it. Okay, so we got it drilled out, about 217 thou. Yeah, looks pretty good. Now for the magic. Do you know the Dykem song? Gonna have to ask that British boy for that one. I'm telling you, he's got a top 10 hit with that uh, raindrop version of it. That video, singing like a songbird. I'm jealous. So apparently you're not a painter. <laughs> not really a knife maker either, but here we are. What are you doing? Normalizing? Heat cycling your dike is really important. Alrighty, now that we're in the shop high as a kite on dike, we're gonna try to trace a precision line around this blade. All right, here's our rough shape. We re die and re-scribed it. Now we grind it a little bit. All right, so now our rough sanding is pretty much done. So to get those little shapes, we've got it locked up in the mill. We take a little end mill, try to get some of those pretty close. Then we can finish it with some files. Obviously a little bit too big on ours compared to the original, but that's okay. That leaves us room to hand fit it. Alrighty, we're gonna call it here, but just a little recap. Here's our start blade with the broken tip. Yeah. Here's our progress on the Benchmade replacement so far. A little raindrop Damascus. And uh, this is about what we're looking at. So you see all the rough work, rough grinding, milling, whatever, it's all done. Next up, it's just hand work. And take a carbide burr and a file and whatever else, really make this just about exactly what it needs to be. Our thickness is super close. Everywhere, we're 
really close. So stay tuned because next time we're going to take this beautiful blade blank and turn it into a beautiful blade. And uh, hopefully get the whole thing back together and she'll be done. All right. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. <clears throat>